be sweating Ooh, yuck me up, I don't want no romancing Ooh, baby, I see these motherfuckers glancing Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video. So this episode, we're going to be learning about method overriding. And it's fairly simple. I'm just going to be going over it real quick. But um, for so first you have to ask yourself, what is it? Well, when you have a superclass and a subclass, um, the superclass has a name of a method, right? It has a method, right? And it's called something. But the subclass is the same method. So that's overriding. So yeah, if that's a little confusing, let me show you. So let's go ahead and make a new project here. But we're going to do it a little differently this time when we create a project. We're going to have every class in a different file because that's what we need to start doing from now on because um, you just got to get used to that because that's when you start developing for real, that's what you're supposed to do is have it all um, uh, classes in different files. So yeah, um, so we're going to make a new project. We're going to call it um, and we're actually going to get rid of this. We don't need a base package. So it just it's just going to be in what's called the default package. So it's going to be in nothing. And don't worry, we're going to be learning about packages later. And you can keep this if you want to, but I'm going to get rid of it. So project name is going to be called um, method overriding. Okay? Overloading and overriding is different, don't forget. Okay, so we have our new project. Let's open it up and see what we got. So we have a source file and just main, that's it, okay? So, um, yeah, so that's good. Um, so we got our thingy here. And so we got our main, and then let's go ahead and make our super class, right? So what's our super class going to be called? We'll call it uh, animal, something simple, you know. We'll call it animal. And let's go ahead and make our subclass also. We'll call it tiger. Or no, let's be creative too. Um, narwhal. Narwhal. There we go. So we have some classes here. This is our main class, of course. So that's where that goes. And then we have our subclass. So we're going to do extends animal so there we go so now that's our subclass great so now everything will be inherited from the main class i mean the super class of animal right precisely so that's all we need basically so let's go ahead and um have a method here so void um show show words something really random right and then what it does it just prints out um blah 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 Okay, so that's for the, the super class, right? So we're going to copy this. No, we'll just type it out. So we're going to have the same method in here. It's not going to be the same, but it's going to have the same name, right? It's going to do this basically the same thing. It's going to print out. This time it'll print out. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that'll be the difference. This one prints out blah, 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 and this one prints out blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so that's the difference, right? So anyway, that. Um, so now at this point, you have to understand, since since they have both the same name. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, they don't. A message verse so show words right there we go so since they have both the same name this one overrides this one because whenever you make a um, let's say you're creating a new object of the subclass and you call this method it's not going to call this one it's going to call the one that the object that you're calling it from uh, the class that you're calling it from basically so let me show you let me show you so we're going to go to our main class right and we're going to make a new um, we'll start with animal the super class so let's make a new animal let's call it um, animal animal one equals new animal something simple right so and then we're gonna call animal one dot show words okay so according to this it should just print out blah 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 right so let's see what happens and it does it prints out blah 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 well ask yourself why well because if you're calling, um, if you created an object from the class of animal, right? That's the superclass, and this is where that exists. So it knows that when you call it from the superclass, then it'll call the method from the superclass. So let's let's see what happens if we cut, make a a new object from the subclass, right? So let's do narwhal narwhal uh, animal two equals new uh, narwhal. Okay, there we go. Let's do animal two dot show words. Okay, make sure you type animal two not animal one or whatever you named it, right? So let's go ahead and run that. So we get we should get blah 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 on the first line. On the second line, we should get this one because it corresponds, right? Good. That's what we get because we create an object in the class of a uh, narwhal, and it knows it looks in narwhal and says, oh, we have this class. It's a subclass. So there we go. So um, just the basic thing you have to know is that when you call um, the method that's overridden in the subclass from the 
um, subclass object, then it's going to recognize that and it's going to call it from the subclass. Hopefully that makes sense. Just play around. You, I mean, it, it tells you by what you just did, basically. So anyway, anyway. So let's say we want to call the, the one from the super class. What do we do? So in here, we could do something. We could do super, super, no, no, super dot, and then we can call the method, you know. So super dot show words. And uh, we could have just that, you know, so we can print out blah, blah, blah both times. So that works. Or we can just call both of them at the same time, you know. It'll, it'll call the super class one first, of course, because the rule is you have to have super before anything. Do not forget that. So anyway, it's a, it's a simple concept, right? It's so simple. So if you ever want to call the super class method, then all you got to do is specify super dot show words, you know, really simple. So yeah, so keep in mind, having a different amount of parameters will overload it. Remember method overloading? So let's go ahead and test that out. So we have show words here, so let's overload it. The difference between, um, okay, right now it's overriding, right? Because it just has the same name, but to overload it, remember there's two ways to overload. One of them is to have the different amount of parameters. So let's go and change this to int something, right? So now it's overloaded and that's all we had to do to overload it. So now it's definitely overloaded. So let's go ahead and run this again. Now it's going to call the super class no matter what because it recognizes that you're calling without parameters and this one has parameters so it's going to go it's going to go in here and say oh wait we didn't call that one because it takes a parameter so we're going to go to the super class and call that one because it doesn't take any parameters so yeah really simple play around with that and it's yeah you're good to go so yeah hope you enjoyed this episode leave a like if you liked it subscribe if you want to see any more leave a comment if you need any help join the discord in the description and peace